Hi, I'm Leah. And I'm Devita. And you're listening to Let's Let's Chat. Chat. Hey, Leah. Hey, Mommy. How's it going? Well, it's going well. I'm glad to hear that. Well, I'm really excited. Are you excited? Yes. I'm excited because today we have a very special guest. Mm -hmm. We will be talking with Sticks Bones, a.k.a. Yo Daddy. Yes. About? Music. Music. Yay. Yay. Welcome to the podcast, Sticks. Hello, ladies. It's good to be here. Hi. Okay. So let's get into it. Um, first, we know <laughs> that you make music. What is so funny? Like y'all just got the <laughs> biggest grins because y'all ready to. We're t- happy you are here. Okay, y'all gonna have me in the chat. I'm in the chat. Let's chat it up. Yes. Okay, go so for it. So we know that you make music. Yes. Um, you've been doing this for a very long time. Yes. Okay. So why do you like music and why do you make it? I love music because it's considered a universal language Mm -hmm. and for me personally music is going to be able to introduce and tell people my story even when i'm not here Mm -hmm. someone be able to know that sticks bones you know was here you know we there there's so many great uh artists that has gone on such as ones that you've learned like john coltrane uh miles davis some of the jazz greats you you know you've heard their music because they record it. So once you record something, that is a testament that you were here. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to record something? Uh, I record things daily. You got less chat. Yes. See? There you go. Mm-hmm. It's here. Yeah. Even when you're not going to be the age that you are in a couple of years, when you're off to college, we'll be able to say, listen to what you sound like. Oh, gosh. Let's yeah. not do that. Let's not do that. I'm no. going to play it at your prom. I'm going to let all no, your friends know. No, that's a prom. As soon as that young man come knock my door, come here, young man. Let me let you hear a little story. <laughs> it's called Let's Chat. Like. You got to listen to every episode every year before you leave. Okay. And if he can stay and handle your, your voice for all that time, then he can take you on a date. Wow. Yes. Wow. Okay, well, I like music (laughs) because it's kind of an escape from, I want to say the real world, but the real world. It like, I can just close my eyes and like, let the music consume me, you know, that type of thing. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's supposed to do that. It's supposed to take you away. Absolutely. Yeah. So, also, it's the time thing and like nostalgia kind of ties into it. Like, I'm going to listen to the song that I listened to when I was seven and it's like, Wow. Things have changed. That was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You have to explain that again. You got to like, say that Like, okay, again. so let's say um, <laughs> I discovered, like, my old playlist mm-hmm. from, like, I don't know, 2016. Oh, you like, like, you mean, like, artists like Tay Johnson? Oh, gosh. Go ahead, sing a song. Go ahead, let it. Hey, just a little bit of it. Song. Just a no, little no, bit of no. it. Come on, no. just one verse. So let's say you I t- discovered. You told it to all the girls in school. <laughs> you told it to your cousins. Come on, no, Leah. I don't even remember. You was the choir director for his, you was for all his background singers. Go ahead. Okay. Anyway, <sighs> uh, if I discover my playlist from like 2016, it's just like wow, mm-hmm. that's what I listened to, and like I remember like certain times, like I listened to it and how I was feeling. And that type of thing. Like, me and mommy watched this show called Tiny Pretty Things on Netflix. And they were like, do you remember the song that was playing when you, like, when you saw this happen? Mm -hmm. And that might help you, like, remember Mm -hmm. it. So Mm -hmm. that type of thing. That's why I like music. Well, not really, but. Because it gives you remembrance of a certain time, whether, whatever Mm -hmm. that time was. But it brings you back to that. Yeah, brings me back. I'm not that old, but... <laughs> That's what I was about to say. Like, you're not that like old. you're 30. Like, you're going to listen to something. Okay, but you have... One thing I do give you is you do have a great ear okay. as far as, you know, the, the genres and the type of music that you listen to. I do got to give you that credit. Is that credit to me? Sure. Yeah? Mm-hmm. yeah you know. Okay, yeah. Thank you. I'll take it. Um, but the thing, it, it, even when it came down to... Like Lucid Dreams. Mm-hmm. And then you heard oh, the original. But then you heard the original. Yeah. To where it came from. You was like, oh. 
Oh, okay. yeah. After that, I got into sampling so hard. It's just like, wow, this is such an art form. It's crazy. Like how people just steal songs and then I realize she's not stealing. <laughs> I mean, they pay for it, so technically <laughs> yeah. it's not stealing, but, you know, yes. Yeah. As far as creativity ideas, yes, they did not come up with it. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's the education behind it. That's how deep music goes. Like, it, there's so much you can learn. It goes way beyond in so many areas, in so many ways. Yeah, also hearing, like, a song and being like, oh, this sounds like this. And, like, you have to put two and two together. That's kind of fun for me. It's just like, oh, wow, that's that song. I know that song. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah. Um, let's get into storytelling and lyrics and, like, the song itself. So I listen, as we all know, to Tyler, the creator, uh, Frank Ocean, um, Steve Lacey, the internet. Yeah, I listen to that. Who are those people? I don't even know who they are. Tyler, I did a PowerPoint who? presentation on them. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, Frank Ocean, I don't even know because he collaborated with Jay Z and Kanye West on the record. That That's I the other thing, featuring. But after that one song, I thought he is he is he in the ocean? Where's he at? His okay. name is Frank Ocean. Is mm-hmm. he like one of like no. Ocean's 11, no. 12? Okay. No. All right. Just <laughs> um, so wait, you mentioned Tyler. Who are these boys? Why you got all these boys? Where where's the the gospel artists? You better have some gospel. Also, artists Also, okay, list. let's get into that too. Genres, okay. Yes. I love the Lord. I love... <laughs> Sing the song if you really love him. How it go? I'm going to have to talk to your pastor. I love gospel. It's great. But I don't like to listen to it on my own time. I don't know why that is. It just doesn't, like, I just can't do it. It's just, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's the way it sounds. I don't, like, I just can't listen to it on my own time. Like, on Tuesday, I can't just put on, like, You put gospel. Jesus in the calendar? <laughs> Let me find out. You only put Jesus... Lord, I failed as a father. Please forgive no, me. No, no, it's not that. I will that. have to repent. Oh, no. All right, go ahead. And, like, I know the songs, too. It's just, like, when I'm, like, in the shower or whatever and so I want to listen to is music. It, it do, but the lyric, you said storytelling and lyrics. So mm-hmm. how does gospel music um, affect you lyrically? Um, one of the things, it's very repetitive. And I can't listen to songs that say the same thing over and over again for two whole minutes. I can't do it. Okay. It's actually four minutes, but yeah, yeah mm-hmm. okay. even longer. I get it. Okay. It's just saying like, okay, yes, uh-huh. yes, okay. we get it. All right, great. So I can't do that, and that's okay. one of the reasons I don't listen to songwriters. Songwriters out there, if you listening, uh, put more words to your melodies, please. please. Thank you. All right. Yes, you're boring the youth. You're boring <laughs> very the much youth. So. All right, okay. Radio also <laughs> back to like what I listen to. I listen to music that's not necessarily on the radio. Because I used to, and like, I don't know what yeah, that was. Yeah, used to listen to Z100 yep. all day. Even when you was in school, mm-hmm. your radio would be on Z100. So yes. if I'm here in the house trying to sleep, all I hear is Z100. One song for the next five hours that they yeah. play. That's why I stopped listening to it because it was really repetitive. And like, even now when I turn to it, it's just like, we're still playing that? That was like two years ago. That's, you know, <laughs> what is with y'all with soon as the next week come, anything that happened the week before is no longer should be played relevant. I mean, it's not, it's that it's overplayed. It's not like I can go back and like listen to it. It's like a good song or whatever, but it's just, they play it every like 10 minutes. It's just like, why are we doing that? Well, then you need to write a letter mm-hmm. to your congressman, to the FCC, to the to the caucus and to your local radio station program director and tell them I am not a robot. Play me some real music. Fact. On on a regular basis. There's twenty thousand rappers and you only play five. See, you have a voice, my sister. Mm-hmm. You are the future. You can just tell them and you have the power to shut it on down. And back to what I listen to R and B, rap, pop. Um, Pop people sing the same. Okay, but I listen to like Alec Benjamin. Why don't we? Yeah, and their stories. Are, are they are they black? Doesn't matter. They're white. They're white. Yes. Yeah, you listen to black pop people. You were just asking me who all the boys we are. We in Black History Month. You listen to black <laughs> pop people. I'm just checking. 
<laughs> you gotta mention somebody. Um, Do we have any black artists who are um, pop artists? Oh my gosh, I forgot. That that Dorillo, that Dorillo kid. He's black. Jason, uh, ooh, not Jason Derulo. No. 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 He's not. Um, I don't know if he's pop, but I think it's Sam Hemshaw. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. But he's the Khalid, cool too. you like the Khalid kid? The Khalid guy? Oh yeah, he's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I don't listen to the songs like on the daily. So the storytelling part thing, like Alec Benjamin, what he does is he tells like kind of his life story. Also with Anthony Ramos. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like one of his albums, he told like his whole life story. In, like, Did you just get songs. amped after saying Anthony? How old yes. is this boy? Do yes. I have his Twitter feed? No. Let me find out what he's talking about. That's getting you all amped up. It's anyway, Anthony, fine. He's in Hamilton. So how old is how old is his Ramio? Okay, go ahead. What? You said Anthony Ramos. Go Ramos. Ahead. Okay. Never disrespect fine. Anthony Ramos like okay, that fine. again. Okay. <laughs> no problem. I will, I'm writing all of these names down to check out who they are. Anyway. So he sings about his life? Yeah, like his album that came out like a few years ago. It was like his life story, like in the middle of like his love life, that type of thing. It's great. It's great. And same thing with Ak Benjamin. It was like his... Do you work for like a music... You should work for a music magazine. You're like so... Oh, it's great. It's great. Like, you know, you might... You I want to do that. To... I wanted to work at no, like a No, you said you wanted store. to be a uh, something else. But you said you wanted to be a nurse or something like that. What? What is... What is, what is, what is mm -mm. You said something like that. Teacher? Teacher. That's what... It, see? Nurse, teacher. You they kind, did they that kind of in the same building. But anyway... So Anthony Ramos. So mm -hmm. you want to talk about storytelling, and you listen to some hip hop or rap music. You listen to some hip hop, some uh, uh, Anthony Anthony R. Mm -hmm. um, because of the storytelling, what now? How does that storytelling relate? Does it relate to you? I mean, they're a little bit older than you, so is this is this music relative? I would say some through. of it relates to me and some of it doesn't. It just sounds good. And it's just like when you really listen to it, you can like hear what they're saying and that gets you to understand them as a person more and not just as an artist. Um, so that's why I like to listen to artists that like explain things instead of just telling like lies and the music to make it like relate to the youth, I guess. All right. So look, understand this. Music is a form of entertainment. Mm-hmm. Entertainment is not necessarily true. Yeah. Some people do write things based on what happened to them, based on experience, but a lot of it is in a form of entertainment. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, as an artist, you have to sell. You're working for a company that sells things. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So they're selling to you stories and uh, topics that they feel that you might gravitate to or be interested in. Mm -hmm. So just be conscious, have your own mind. If it's entertaining, fine, but leave that on the table as entertaining. Not all of it. Some motivation, like music is motivation. Music is is accepted in so many ways for us, but what the consumer has to understand is the reason why you hear the same song every day for nine times in one day is because it's it's in what they call heavy rotation. They want you to remember it. They want you to never forget this song. Your generation don't tolerate repetition like that. Y'all, yeah. y'all ready to? Y'all heard it for two weeks. It's time to move on. Yeah, Your uncle Tony like, calls it. Yeah, call you guys the microwave generation because everything is here and gone so fast, as if it was a microwave thing. So, the one thing I do want you to take from this is as you're being just super duper honest about what you feel and what moves you mm -hmm. and what compels you mm -hmm. and things like that. And I love you for, for being honest and speaking on, on that. I just want you to understand this is regardless of what the artist, regardless of what the song, everybody has to think from themselves because nine times out of 10, the artist did not write the song. Somebody else wrote it. They call them ghostwriters. The record labels have staff of people just as writers, the same type of people who write for television. If you look at the credits, the name it, it says written by, and the person who wrote it isn't the person who's acting in the movie okay, or the TV but what film. what about Hamilton in the Heights? 
Now that's Maybe Broadway. Oh, Broadway. Know. Broadway. Was it both? <laughs> but listen, listen. Even when it comes down to Broadway, mm-hmm. he took that art and applied it to something that he was able to go through in a door, which was if that door Broadway opened, he didn't come in singing like uh, Neil Patrick Harris. He came in rapping because that's what fed him. You know what I mean? So that was the truth on on part of the gift that he was able to bring to the table. Thank God for him. Broadway accepted it because he broke down a barrier. There was no rap on Broadway that lived the way this one lived. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you got to understand, whenever the music that you're listening to, a lot of the people who sing it ain't writing what they sing. Mm -hmm. You know, so... That's the form of entertainment. Entertainment hires people to make people, to make the consumers do their thing as far as uh, to get you guys to buy that record, listen to it as much as you can, and, and love it. Okay, last thing I want to talk about was producers and, like, producer tags and that type of thing and the rap now. Okay, so aren't you a producer? Like, mm-hmm. don't you do that type of thing? Yes. Um. So what do you think about, like, rap producers now? Like, so again, a lot of rappers aren't the producers. Mm-hmm. There are DJs, musicians, composers, you know, but mainly DJs. If we're talking about hip hop, a lot of DJs are the producers. There are a couple of rappers who have learned the technique, but more than that, anything, they're DJs. And the DJs, I consider them to be more like musicians because they have to listen to everything in order to know what to produce. Mm-hmm. Or have some sense of musician theory, musical theory, in order to know how to put the stuff together. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So when it comes down to producing, and producers are responsible for what sounds you hear on the record. So it's like they play a major role, even though some artists do have some say on what goes on their record. Yeah, and I was also watching something the other day, and it was like songs you didn't know that were produced by so and so, and like you can hear like their sound and like you be like oh that makes sense because it sounds like their songs Mm -hmm. so that's the other thing it's just like wow that's so cool yeah there there are many jobs in the industry you know what i'm saying it's just that the camera and the spotlight only shines on very few you know so that's why i want you to stay open-minded to just everything You, you may not be a fan of a certain artist but that certain artist can still sing a song that you really like. Oh, yeah. You covers are a saying? whole different world. I do so, not like covers. So, sorry. Oh, Jesus. I'm so you know, sorry. I'm pray for you. Like, what? covers are chill, but like, when they Next play week. instead of the actual songs, just like, what? Next week. Next week. We're going to go through some cover songs. Can we do it this week? Because I'm on break. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. Fine. We'll go through some cover songs. Great. Just for you. Yay. All right. So being that you saw my producers and stuff, I got things I got to do. I got songs I got to make. You ain't going to have me here chatting for free. Y'all going to have to, you know, talk to my manager, talk to my lawyer. Isn't she call manager my, and lawyer? You know. Not the lawyer. You see, but... you see then you changing it, okay? <laughs> All right. Okay. 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 I'm good. You good? Yep. Okay. As long Wonderful. As you're good. Thank you for being here. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I thoroughly enjoyed this show. Thank you, Sticks, for joining us today on Let's Chat. I hope you guys enjoyed this conversation with Leah and her dad. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you all so much for listening. If you want to reach us, you know how to get us on Instagram. We're at Let's Chat underscore podcast. And on Twitter. At Let's Chat underscore podcast. Thanks again for listening. Bye-bye.